Alright guys, so I'm at my buddy's house here. Hello! Whew! It does stank up in here. It definitely does stink up in here. It fucks the bathroom. Okay, so supposedly this toilet. Is leaking and also moving, rocking. So, oh Jesus Christ, the tank needs to come off. And look at the dap job. Fuck, it looks like Steve did that. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my god! It's a bloody black hole! This motherfucker's in it. This is like a toxic waste dump. I don't even want to stick my hand down in there, man. Come on now. I've never seen anything like this in my life, man. That's his water, guys. Ugh. We need to get the fuck up out of this place, y'all. I was gonna give him a little squirty squirt of uh, some green dye. Uh -oh. So this needs to be done, needs to be pulled. I need to pull that tank off, reset it, clean the damn thing, bring it out in the yard, and clean it. It's pretty dark in here, man. Uh, uh. He's got an issue with this faucet. Fuck, I thought it was a low. My dog was bloody fucking mowing. <sighs> this is a Delta. Which I've got the shit to rebuild that. I'm gonna do that first. Then I gotta... Uh, that's the first thing I'm gonna do. He said this thing's backing up. And then he said, look at his toilet. This is a new toilet, I don't know. I'm gonna test drive it right now because that's what Johnny does when nobody's home. Good God. These houses on a well, man. We'll let that run for a minute while I test the facilities. All right, so this shower is definitely holding water when you sh when uh, when it's running. I need to rod that out. This toilet looks fine. I am gonna squirt a little. He laid out a lot of shit for me, but I think he said that this toilet, one of them was leaking. I mean, I'm not gonna leak test that other one because I'm just gonna. Uh, Lord, man. I think this guy's well is drawing off of the na his neighbor's fucking septic tank, man. Look at the shit growing in here, man. This is utterly fucking disgusting. <sighs> Look at the fucking sh amoeba. Seems like an appropriate word. I'm not sure what that means, but yeah. He needs to clean these tanks out, man. That's where some of this odor's coming from. I mean, he's basically got a fucking swamp in his house in the form of a tank. 
Look at this shit. Look at it, it just stuck to the stuck to the fucking oh god. Look at it, it lays down against the tank and then as the water fills it starts swimming again. Look at the shit moving down there. This dude's on the fucking bad lot, man. I'm gonna try to fix this faucet. It is a delta. I just fixed the delta faucet. I have to look under here and see, you know, what we got for stops. He's a good new stop. That's good there. stops so it should be good yep let me go get my tool bag it's funny how man you you don't use things for a while and then in the same day I haven't pulled this box out in ages uh, this guy in here I haven't pulled this Delta box out in ages but this is you know the second job in a row light here let's see not too bright uh, kind of like me <laughs> boy these fucking deltas don't like to come apart my head come on baby help a brother out you know this guy really just needs to get a new faucet man Wasting time.
these deltas today. I need that smart ass kid from Replum guy. Yeah, you just heat it up. In the wrong direction, tighten it first and then pull it right off. Making some headway. I kid you about that guy, he's pretty sharp, man. All right, guys, so skip over the skip over the This is some nasty fucking shit Oh yes it is Some real nasty fucking shit I'm gonna see if I can Make it work again Get another, another something. I'll be right back. Hey guys, so this house smells like a bag of asses. You ever hear that? You may have heard it once or twice on my on my little whatever the fuck you call this. What I do. I may have to end up putting a new uh, faucet in for this guy, man. This shit ain't gonna come off part, man. Thank you. 
problem is the more you squeeze on it, the tighter it gets, man. Around the threads, man. Yeah, that moved. That went tight. So now I hopefully can get a bite on it and turn it the other way. That's a little trick I learned from Replum, man. Sometimes it's easier to tighten it first and then loosen it. You know, if you can knock it off its seat. You just make sure that's off. Thanks, Replum, for that little tip. is just total nastiness not even worth fixing it in my opinion So you guys who want to fucking laugh at me, I will just tell you, would you laugh at a fucking blind man struggling? That's what I am. I am a blind man struggling. Oh, goodness gracious. This is all plastic, man. Got some new O rings for that, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, I think we got the O rings for it. So, first thing I need to do, guys, is uh, clean the inside of this spout a little bit. Just using some emery cloth. Really not that bad. I've seen worse, you know. We got an O-ring up here and an O-ring down there. It's crusty, mama. It's crusty, mama. Hey, you old lady, it's crusty. Kind of like you. How old do you say you are? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I love Steve watching his videos, man. Somebody could be in the middle of a fucking heart-wrenching story. Spilling their guts. And it's just getting to the good part. And Steve will start up his fucking grinder and cut their faucet out while they're... and miss the whole fucking end of the story. Steve! If you're not interested, we are. We want to hear the rest of it. Jesus Christ, man. You Portuguese people from... See how nice and clean that is, man? All right. So let me get these 
crusty ass over and they don't feel too bad actually, but they were leaking. One of them was. That was the top. Bottom looks like it's gonna be a little bit different size, maybe. Same size. So we want to make sure we clean that out good. The other side, you know, with the O-ring seal. This fucking thing needs to be let out the pat, you know. If this was a dog, you'd take it out in the fucking yard and shoot the son of a bitch. Bury him. Give him a proper burial after you murder it. Okay. So let's see. These old rings are nice. They're the same size. So what I'm gonna do is find my grease, y'all. I'm gonna find my grease, y'all. Skid over there. Skid over Guys, just lube up the uh, the O-ring real good and put it all over there. Oops, there goes my fucking earbud. Johnny got earbuds, man. Tired of the motherfucking YouTube. All my videos are like, you know, got some kind of a restriction on them. Foul language, foul smell, foul everything. The only downside of greasing these real good is getting them on afterwards. Because they're all greasy, you know? And if you're going to use a pick, just make sure you're not damaging it, you know? Okay, so that's good. That's a, a numero uno. Where's my grease, y'all? Where's my grease? So I just do want to cover this again. Inside here, you want to put a liberal amount. You know, don't get your panties in a wide, you in a wide, you fucking conservatives, liberal can mean a lot of things. Get that nice and... Get that nice and looped up, you know what I mean? They just stick it on there. Yeah. Stick it on that, son bitch. Okay, where the fuck's the other part? Parts is parts. This thing's nasty. So I'm gonna try to clean this up a little bit. Sand cloth works better when you actually using the sanded side. So the thing that I need to do is see this little brass ring in here? Johnny Boy needs to get that out. And this could prove to be a challenge, man. <sighs> Two dissimilar metals. Oh, there we go. She moving, she moving, y'all. Okay. See, this this is the little ring that that puts the pressure 
uh, if you got a drippy faucet, sometimes all you have to do is uh, take the handle off and tighten this brass ring down a little more. They do make them in plastic. Uh, this one happens to be brass. Let me see if I've got a plastic one or a new brass one. Kind of choked up, you know. I don't have a new brass one, so I'm just going to clean this up. Ow. 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 I love working in houses that are empty. I will tell you that, man. I walk into this lady's bathroom. And uh, she's from Brazil. And I don't know, there's like five pairs of fucking Jungle Jane fucking underwear on the counter in there. And I'm like, come on, lady. You know the roach guy and the plumber were coming today. Put that shit away. Unless she wanted to leave it there. I need leopard, serious Jungle Jane shit, yo. <sighs> I know this is bordering on creepy, but everybody would have thought the same thing. <sighs> Boy, this thing is really just fucking nasty. I'm doing this and shit's popping off in my face. Thank God I have these on, my safety glasses. Okay. We're gonna get this old rust bucket fucking purring again, Jackson. Okay, so. Couple new springs. New washers. It's all, uh, which we we'll call it down in here, man, all plastic. So it should be all good, man. Just take your, your straight pick, hold this shit up like so, drop it in the hole, yo. Drop it in the hole, man. Push it up and down a little bit, make sure that it's in there. Whoa, that one stuck to my finger, man. A fucking Mikey Pipe show. Ba-dum-bum. -bum. It's gonna be epic. Ba-dum-bum. -bum. No, it's not. Sorry, guys. Another fucking fail. The big fail. <sighs> Johnny's struggling. It does really help when you can see, guys. I'm, I'm just saying. You know, you might as well turn the fucking lights out on me here. Fumbling around in the fucking dark. So once again, straight pick, pull it all the way up, drop it in there, okay, and then fucking struggle. There we go, struggling, struggling, struggling. There we go. Okay, they're both in there. Now I want to take this and match this ball up to one in here, a new one, which is going to be this one. 
goes in here there's a little I'll show you what's going on in here man you see in here there's a little pin that this rides in right there like so that's in the right position then this is the bonnet gasket which I have new ones here Bada bing, bada boom. Put a little grease on that there thing. Oh, Jackson. Oh, Jackson. Slip that son of a bitch right in there. Now this has a little, a little uh, pin and a keyway here. That keeps that from spinning. This one's a little thinner. This is a that's a different one. See how thin that is? So what I may have to do, being creative like I am, I'm gonna take this there thing. That's actually the wrong part. I got the right one right here. I was putting the wrong part in. Imagine that. Can't imagine Johnny Sunshine would make such a mistake. Believe it, guys. Believe it. <sighs> All right. So now what we need to do is grease this up. And I've cleaned these threads up as best as I can. I mean, I do have a wire wheel on the truck out there. I typically wouldn't spend this much time, you know, fucking around with this. I'd have it done by now. But I'm trying to show you guys what I'm doing. Okay, so that's good. I've got that thing uh, threaded in there. I want to get some grease on these threads. It is plastic uh, that it's screwing on to. Screw this down. This is going to hold the spout on. You can see that that spout's moving nice and freely. Get this tightened down. That's it. It doesn't really need to be that tight, guys. Um, because the compression part of this system is uh, up on the top. If I can find my damn wrench again. So you can see that this thing's a little whack, whack a doodle do. It's a little out of shape. But now I just need to. Tighten this ring down uh, until I feel some tension on it, you know, that it's compressed. Compressing that thing down into the seats in the bottom and uh, that gasket on the top. So I need to straighten this out because it's not going to work with that. I can get it off with that thing bent like that, but it's not going to work to tighten it up. So let me try to fix that. What happens when you get into some nasty shit, yo? It very well could just break off, but I've got more of these tools, so. Just like I thought, yeah. It's always something, boys. Always something. I'll still be able to use this. I'll just stick that piece down in there. I'm going 
turn the water on and that'll let me know how much I how much I have to tighten that up. get all my shit out of here these are garbage like I said man you got to make sure you do not get the garbage mixed in with the good stuff Cold side. What's going on? I think that's one of the things he was talking about. No fucking... No water on the fucking cold side. So you can see this is working. Something's clogged on this faucet underneath. Uh, obviously it's not leaking anymore. So we repaired this. I'm confident that there's a problem like down in the uh, shutoff valve or supply tube area of this faucet. So I'm just gonna put this put this uh, cap back. I mean this handle. Let me throw this shit out. Wow. It ain't easy being sleazy. It ain't easy being sleazy. So, uh, yeah. We want to put some grease on that, baby. On this big dog. Get it down in there. This too, man. Fucking handle does not want to come off. down the fucking drain if I didn't have a rag over that drain. Hey! 
is over here. He's got no fucking cold water coming out of that goddamn faucet. Yeah, it's like nothing, man. It's been that way for fucking years. Well, it might be that way for a few more fucking years, pal. Welcome to well water. Who needs cold water out of goddamn sink with sinking water? Can anybody tell me what this tool is for? If somebody can tell me what this tool is for, I'll send you a t-shirt. All right? Be specific. This water is fucking right, dude. Just nasty. Can't get that stink out. Feeling nice. Whoops, here's the old red button. Damn pesky buttons. I'm always forgetting them. Pesky sons of bitches. Well, this one's just got a red button, so you don't get cold water with this. I mean, shit, sometimes it's plain in plain sight what the problem is. This is a hot water only faucet. For Christ's sake. School. Alright, so Johnny spent an hour fixing a, you know, $60 faucet at best. Oh, I don't know if I want to replace it. I mean, what? I mean, it seems fine, besides it not working, and it looks like shit. Yeah, Johnny isn't a fucking restoration, faucet restoration expert. Meaning, if it works and it don't leak, that's all you get. should at least attempt to figure out what the fuck's going on. All right, guys, so I got to figure out why this guy's not getting any cold water to this, uh, to this faucet. He's got a bunch of shit in here. A.O. Smith. Universal strap wrench. Yeah, yeah. All right, so this is the cold stop. I'm just gonna do a little wham bammy, slammy jammy over here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook up a ice, I mean a, a dishwasher hose to this stop. Let's see what's going on, Jackson. See why the fuck we ain't got no water coming out of that faucet, Jackson. This, this, uh. Easier for me to do it like this, guys. I just put a dishwasher hose on here and then put it in the sink. Turn the fucking valve on, you know what I'm saying, yo?
you can hear that we got good pressure so the fucking problem is above the stop did take a minute for that shit to get out of there uh. I can't, I can't imagine these hoses are fucking blocked, but you know, it may have been right there at the stop. Let me look at this T. It's got an added T. This fucking sink has an attitude. Fuck the added T. Fucking got an attitude, man. This hose is full of water. It's going to drain right into the cabinet. So I'm just going to put it right here on a nice towel and let it rip. Potato chip. And there she goes. There she blows. Put this on here again. See if that fixed it, man. I don't know. I'm I'm just praying to God that that's where the shit was. And I'm also just happy that uh, there's actually water here. Like he doesn't have an issue under the slab. Oh fuck! Sorry guys about the shot of my neck, but. Fucking ugly under here. Alright, so I'm gonna have to replace these hoses. Let me go out in the truck and see. It looks like I'm gonna need like a 30 inch supply hose so let me see if I think I do have one of them out there alright guys so I'm getting a new fucking supply I'm gonna try to blow some water back through this faucet uh, through these hoses first maybe I can do that I'll pull these hoses out and get a bucket and uh, turn the hot on and put my hand over the fucking spout. Dig it? Dig that will fix the problem, y'all. Alright, so. Fucking spout on here. Let me get that off up here. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna I'm taking this off. I'm gonna put my thumb over this. Uh, you could actually cap it off. I got adapters that go to this thread and just put like a hose adapter on it uh, and then use the, wow, I'll show you how nasty this area is. So I'm gonna try to blow this thing through into this pot. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna turn the faucet on up here. That shit is caked inside this faucet. That's the hot water coming down into the cold. That 
was a good try, but no cigar. So we're gonna go to fucking plants. I don't know what it is. DC3. RCP3. Hey guys, so I've got the the supply hoses that were on that faucet on the cold side. I've got them off. We had good water flow. Uh, through the through the valve. I just want to make sure that this this T is why is open. I didn't didn't check that, but I've got a piece of wire here and it's definitely Yeah. That's open. So the problem is in the faucet and like I said, man, I'm I'm spending a lot of time and I'm not I'm not upset with that cuz he's going to have to pay me but it makes for pretty good viewing and you just to see what what you can go through and that's why I'm so quick to just say hey man it ain't worth it to try to fix this old piece of shit so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to shove this wire up through this faucet And uh, it looks like I can't right, right there, right here at the bottom, the base of this thing is just fucking slap full, man. Let me get a pick. I'm trying to stick a pick in there. I'm hoping it's right there at the bottom. You know, that'll work out great. And uh, if I can get the crust out of this thing, it'll be good. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna hook that hose back up. There was nothing wrong with the ones that were there. Well, I'm not gonna fuck around. Uh, so I think I got it. I do want to back flush that, man. I'm gonna put this towel here, and I'm just gonna hold my finger over this faucet and see if I can get water to come out of the cold side. Yeah, that's it. I fixed it, man. So. Like I said, it makes for some good, interesting videos, maybe, if some of you are still hanging in there. Uh, but this faucet is not worth the hassle that I've gone through to get it to work. Uh, but we're getting her done, man. We're getting her done. Okie doke, ski. There is a lot of shit in here. Ow. Son of a bitch. These fucking Delta faucets, those copper supply tubes coming out of the faucet are so fucking tiny uh, that, you know, it doesn't take much. Especially on a house with a well. Ouch. 
So, the point to all of this, guys, is to just fucking put a new faucet in. I mean, they're so cheap these days. A, a standard faucet. Don't even bother fucking fixing it. Yep, that would have been just too fucking short. Gipper. Chalk one up for the Gipper. <sighs> Say a prayer. Johnny fixed it. He's got some hot and cold water. He's gonna be happy as fuck. That'll make him feel better. It's tough when you like spend all that time and you don't fix it. But look at the shit that's coming out of this thing. This guy's got serious iron in his water, in his well. I remember my mom was gonna buy a house in this area. And the reason she didn't was because of the fucking water quality. Just fucking horrible, man. So this was kind of hard to get out. I do want to put a little bit of grease on that thing. So this was a great lesson on wasting a good hour and a half playing with a faucet that's not worth it. I'm going to tell this guy, because it's getting close to 2 o'clock, Jackson. I'm going to unstop that drain and tell him I'll be back tomorrow, man. Johnny's got a schedule to keep, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm supposed to be home at 2 o'clock, man. At least it's fixed, guys. Small victory.
right, so we're done there. Let me go get my, let me clean this shit up and I'm gonna get the sewer machine and hit this real quick. All right guys, so we're holding water right now in this shower. I'm gonna run my sewer machine with the big, I mean my uh, Super V. It's a 560 cable. And open this drain up for this guy. He needs to clean these tanks out. I think that's where a lot of the odor from his, he needs to get some like lemon fresh something and stick in them goddamn tanks, man. back the first time I could see the water coming up in the shower so that I mean in the drain so that meant there was some shit on the end of this cable but typically this one if you want to pull it back you're gonna need a spring on the end Didn't get that other screw out on that drain. It happens a lot on these old cast iron drains. So you leave it in. Take one screw out, the one you can get out, and spin the damn thing off center. Put it back, Jack. Jack it. So this is draining. I got a couple issues solved, resolved for this guy today. Uh, I'm gonna have to come back. I'm not getting into dealing with these toilets today. 
Uh, just ran out of time. Johnny's got to stick to his uh, employee handbook, you know. What the fuck, man? Said be home by two. So that's what Johnny gonna do. Ow. My head's soaked in this stinky ass fucking water. What's that you're wearing? Oh, it's sulfur by fucking Sarasota County. Wonderful. Boy, that thing's sharp, man. There's a chunk of something there. That'll cut your goddamn foot, son. Fucking lead. Yeah, do yourself a favor. Always run your hand around these drains, man, just to make sure there's no sharp edges. All right, guys, so I'm all done at this house for today. Uh, this was my third service call today, and uh, I did fix this faucet. It took a lot of time, but it's working like it's brand new now. It's got water on the cold side, uh, hot side, spout moves good, no leaks. So it's, it's fixed. I did run the cable through that shower uh, and cleaned that out for him. It definitely was backed up. Uh, this guy's a tree guy, so he comes home, man. He needs to hose off outside, and some days I'm sure he's covered in wood chips. And that shit gets down in that drain. Because I was here not too long ago, and I, I cleaned that out. I, I run the cable a lot. I mean, I run it in and out trying to clean that whole line. So, it is what it is. He's a, this is a house and his lifestyle, what he does, he needs a plumber a lot. And I'm here to help him. And uh, that's it. Hey guys, Johnny Sunshine over here, eating like a king, yo. Nachos Grande from Gecko's. Got chili in it. Little, some jalapenos, some guacamole, extra salsa, sour cream. Little, uh, little salad here. Little Caesar salad with some blackened uh, ahi tuna. Oh, man. You kidding me? Man's gotta eat. Mm.